Cut the music, cut the music. What's happening, y'all? To the best chat on the planet. <laughs> it's Friday, y'all, or as I like to call it, Friday. You know what I'm saying? Friday for y'all people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all made it through another one. Salute. First and foremost, I'd like to thank y'all to the greatest network on the planet, the LaPeep Network. Make sure you click the like button. If you have not subscribed, subscribe now. That little button at the bottom, that's red. If it's red, if it's still red, that means you you wrong. If I got a problem with you. Click the subscribe button. Click the bell so you get all the notifications for this great content, the greatest network on the planet, the, the, the LaPeep Network. Let's everybody come on in, take off your shoes, get comfortable. We gonna get it going. Let's see who we got in the building because I always show love. So solid coming through. What's good with you, my boy? I'll be in the building. Joe Lee is in the building. Peace to you, sis. My boy Ronnie coming through. Sugar Curl Salon. Make sure you guys check out Sugar Curls Salon on the interwebs, man. Great products, great service giving back to your community, man. Make sure you guys, if you need some body oil, your hair oil, any of your natural beauty products, 
for the black man and black woman, please check out Sugar Curl Salon. She will take care of you. We got Jenny Marina in the building. Peace to you, my sister. R. Cook in the building. What's going on? Stephen Day, Green Gang in the building. Gang, gang, gang. You know what I'm saying? In the building. We got Cave Cold Blood Rockwellers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all smash the like button. It don't cost you nothing. Our businesswoman. I like that name. I like that name. All right, all right, all right. Go ahead, click the like button. If you would like to, go ahead and become a subscriber. That way you get this great content, members only information and content as well. Uh, make sure y'all check out the La Peep experience. That'll be coming up uh, here next year. And we are gonna get to it, man. But before we even get started, let's do some housekeeping. Y'all know who it is. Is allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is it's y'all favorite YouTubers, favorite YouTuber coming back at y'all one more again. Uh, we're gonna talk about doing the Macarena. Y'all seen the thumbnail, y'all know why y'all here. Max Vendy, I see you, Joe the Beast in the building. I got you, my bro. One Don Trey, what's happening with you? But first, I just want to say, man, I just want to say it's funny how things connect. Right. It's funny how things always prove themselves in this world of ours. Now, last week I made a comment and this is before I get off on my dissertation, as I like to say, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Max Vendy was good. Last week, we talked about some powerful words, right? The most powerful words that a woman could say to their child is wait till your daddy get home. Wait till your father get home. You want to act a fool? Wait till your daddy get home. Mm -mm -mm. Take a baby bag. <clears throat> Wait till your daddy get home. Just wait. Wait till your daddy get home. This is the story all about how a 15-year-old kid tore up the house because his mama took his phone. the phone that she pays for. Do y'all believe there's a father in the picture? This is a question to the chat. Do you guys believe a father is in this picture?
<laughs> black or white. It don't matter if you're black or right. So solid. <laughs> And let, let's address, let's address, let's address Consuelo, no problem. But again, we address, it, we address it as it was presented. Okay, let's let's get this, let's get this clarification, ladies and gentlemen. We present, we we address it as it presented. It's presented out on the inter, on the interwebs as the child tore up the home. Just like the McDonald's lady and all this other stuff. Come on now, let's not be obtuse. So again, we're playing it as F. What's up, sis? How you doing? How you doing? So why did I show this? Again, just, just to prove a point from last week. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Smash the like button. There's 155 of y'all in here, 80, 80 likes. Let's get us to 100 likes, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Cora. Stephen Day, I see you. Mr. C. Elaine Gardner. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to go on this for a couple of minutes, then we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it, right? If this was the case, I'm, I can pretty much guarantee you there's no father in that home. Right? Not having a not having a two-person family, a two a two-parent household is expensive. Konnichiwa, Rodney Dunn. It's not just financially expensive, it's emotionally expensive. There's supposed to be a video of her saying uh, her son has mental health, but to answer the question, there isn't a father in the picture. Look, look, I'm going to say this, Gary, right? And thank y'all for the input because this is a conversation, right? I work in the school system. And to me, to me, just my observation, it's a lot of kids and a lot of people claiming their kids have mental health and they just bad. Did you hear what I said? A lot of people are claiming their kids have mental health and they're just bad. What happened to badass kids, ladies and gentlemen? Because when I was little, your kid, you just had bad kids. Uncle Luke, what's good, my boy? You just had bad kids. So like I said before, I'm going to get on y'all about this shit, bro. It's an excuse for every goddamn thing. Everybody got a motherfucking excuse about what's this and that. Because, again, these people who not in your home, these people who don't raise your children are able to stick labels on y'all and y'all people. And y'all allow it. You know what? Because it excuses you from responsibility. It excuses you from the responsibility of saying, hey, maybe I'm not parenting my child right. Maybe, just maybe, I wasn't ready to have this child. Or better yet. I knew I wasn't ready to have this child, and I didn't want the responsibility, but y'all don't want to have them talks, though. Oh, that was different. When y'all ready to talk, let's talk. When y'all ready to talk, let's talk. Because when you realize the reason isn't the reason or excuses either way, some shit not acceptable. I don't care what no psychiatrist, no therapist, no doctor told you, some shit's not acceptable. Story. And this, hap this happened today. Y'all know I do IT for, for my city school system, right? And in this one particular building, they, they have classes for kids who's on probation, that's committed crimes, right? 
So I go in there to do a repair. I go in there to do a repair. And it's this one particular kid, right? Well, let me tell you, let me tell y'all the story. It was pretty funny, right? The one kid had on some Jordans, right? And I had on I had on some Jordans too. The one kid looking at my feet as soon as I walk in, right? The one kid, as I sit down and I grab the Chromebooks and do my thing, the one kid say, uh, hey, you see that kid with the shoes over there? He got Jordans on. I was like, yeah, I got some of them. He was like, those are my shoes. I let him have it, right? The other kid that had the shoes on, he say, no, I stole these shoes from him. What size you wear? I said, my size. Right? Sharon, how you doing, sis? I said, my size. He looked at my shoes and said, you want to trade? I said, no, I ain't trading nothing. I look at him in his face. I say, your size look like my size, too. See, if you're from Chicago, you know what that means. Them look like my size, too. That's some Chicago stuff. That's neither here nor there. But the one kid, right? <laughs> I'll be facts, right? But the one kid, right? I'm sitting up there. I'm, I'm getting the Chromebooks reconfigured so they work, right? And the, te the teacher has a video on the screen. And the one little Mexican kid, right? He throw a pin at the one kid, right? I look at him. No words is necessary. None. I look at him. He looking at me. I'm looking at him. I'm looking dead in his eye. No words had to be said. Right? Because in man talk, and men tell me if y'all disagree, this ain't no lady thing. This is a man thing. Not a word was said. Tay Biz, what's good? Not a word was said. But you know if you a man and that happened and somebody eyeballing you, whoever speaks first loses, correct? Whoever speaks first loses. Right? This is why you got to have a man around your son. I'm looking at him. He looking at me. I'm looking him dead in his face. He thinking I'm a flesh. He thinking I'm going to break. Because that's what people do. With these kids, these badass kids, they give in before the kids give in. That's really what it is. He say what? I say, you know what? Not a blink. Not a blink. You know what? From that moment in that class, he sat down, watched that videotape, didn't do nothing. So much so, when I got the Chromebooks done, what I, what I had to do, I went over to the young man and I asked him, I asked, I ain't going to even say ask, ask is, ask is a strong, it's too strong of a word. I told him, log in this to make sure it worked for me. And what did he do, gentlemen? He logged into it. I told him, thank you, young sir. I appreciate you. And when I walked out and I left out that room, guess who was the only person to say, have a good day, Rick?
when y'all going to realize that y'all men are needed? It don't take much. But what it take is courage. You got to be willing to test. Because they're going to test you. You got to be willing to pass the test. You got to be willing to have your, you got to have that number two pencil sharp, baby. Uncle Luke, sometimes it's necessary. And that's the problem. We don't want to do the things that's necessary. We want to do the things that com that's comfortable, right? Staring somebody in the face, you bucking up, you, you staring at somebody's face is uncomfortable. Silence is uncomfortable. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to get off on or off this, right? We got to we got to raise these babies. I'm not talking about taking care of these babies. I'm not talking about sitting up there just buying them everything they want and they ask for because that's what you believe will keep them in line. We got to raise these babies, bro. These babies did not ask to fucking be here. And sometimes it's uncomfortable. I don't care what mental health, how you want to blame it on the mental health crisis that's going on nowadays with these kids. You still have a responsibility. God damn it. Not past responsibility. You have an obligation. To raise these babies. Stop giving up on something you made. And sometimes that requires stern and harsh lessons. Sometimes that requires you making your children uncomfortable. But the one thing I can tell you guys from experience is that your children will thank you for it. The link for Sugar Curls is in the description. JR a little slow on the draw today. <laughs> a lot of y'all kids, it ain't got nothing to do with them being right in the head. A lot of y'all kids just bad. Sharon said, hey, Ricky, everyone kids, something wrong in all of us in the world. There is. All of us have our issues, Sharon. I don't deny that. But it's not your issues that define you. It's how you deal with them. It's how you overcome them. Do the Macarena. Story time. I do weddings every weekend. I'm a DJ. What does that mean? That means request, right? So when you, when I DJ you, we have a website that you go to, you fill out your request, you know what songs you want to play for your, your prelude, your, your walk that your husband's walk down the aisle, the wedding parties walk down the aisle, uh, the brides walk down the aisle. 
the dismissal when the wedding's over, uh, dinner music, uh, what else? The grand entrance, uh, the first dance, the mother, the mother, the mother, the, mother, the father daughter dance, the mother son dance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. O'Shea Lennox, how you doing, guys? Super say Isaac, I see you. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, I believe I told you guys before, I think I've done one black wedding. Not yet, uh, Sugar Curl. That, that would be spendy on the person that's doing, right? Um. And I get a request. I get a request. I get a, a form online where I can prepare my playlist. I practice like after I get off of here with y'all, I got to put my playlist together, put my set together on the songs they requested so I can run them. Because DJing is an art and a science to it. You have to know which beats go together, right? Where the drops or the songs at so, so you can come in, right? Different keys, you know, because you can beat match a song or you can key match a song, right? Beat match means, say, for instance, you got a song A and song B, and they're on the same, they are, they make the same beat. So if I drop it on the one, two, three, four, depending on if it's an eight bar or 16 bar, I can make those songs almost seem like they go together, right? Also, if you key match, meaning if I got two songs that's done in the same key, I can drop it and then drop another song. And again, it sounds like they're in the same song because they're in the same key, right? That's neither here nor there, but free game Fridays if y'all ever want to DJ, right? So I get this list of the songs they want to play. I've done one black wedding. And again, the groom wasn't black. The, the, uh, the woman was, right? So the playlist was lit, right? But mostly everybody else. I do, you know, pop, uh, classic rock, uh, 60s, 70s, power rock, the 80s rock, things of that nature, right? But of the families I've done, and I've been DJing weddings for three years now, right? There's always one song that's on every single promise to playlist. That's what we call it. We call it a promise to playlist, right? And it's called do the Macarena. Y'all know the song. Do the Maca, do the Maca, do the Macarena. Hey, Macarena. All right, right? Y'all know the song. It's infamous. It's world famous. And me as a, <laughs> me as a melanated man, right? <laughs> me as a melanated man, I used to say to myself, I'd say, self, <laughs> I say self. I'm so sick. Of, I'm so sick of I'm so sick of hearing this song. Right? I'm tired of it. God damn it! I man, it's just long enough for you to run and go pee. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's long enough for the DJ to run and go pee. Right? So the song comes on, right? The song, because I got to play it. I'm getting paid to play, right? It's, it's pay to play here. I got to play it. I play the song, and guess what? With these people, you know, that's what, what do you mean, these people? Yeah, these people, right? Flood the dance floor, man. They flood it. They flood it every time. Mic check, mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Can I get a mic check, y'all? Stream y'all acting funny. Can I get a mic check? All right, good. So solid. I appreciate you, right? Right? They flood the dance floor and they all know. It never fails. It never, Teresa, it never fails. So solid, I'm telling y'all. It's a winner, chicken dinner, right? Country, country weddings, pop weddings, doesn't matter. 
Doesn't matter. I have a crowd that's not moving, not dancing. Throw the macarena on. Boom, they there. Right? This this wedding I had, right? This wedding I had this Saturday. <laughs> this wedding I had this Saturday, right? Never fails. You know what's on the list. The Macarena. No problem. I rock it out. Dance flow feel. I'm going to be honest. This this weekend, this, this wedding was kind of lit. I ain't going to even lie to y'all. They was lit. They was lit. I ain't going to even lie to you. They was rocking. I was I was throwing whatever I threw at them. They was good with it. Some 50 Cent, some some Drake, some Future, some um Pop Smoke. They was good with it. Right, shout out. Shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So after the wedding's done and I'm about to pack up. I'm peeping game. I'm looking right. The lights is on. Everybody's heading out. The men skedaddle. The men gone. Poof, poof. Last song, poof, they gone. Ladies, the ladies, the bridesmaids, the moms, the sisters, the ladies that were in attendance, even the bride. Even the bride is staying there to clean up the event center. And as I'm unpacking, the bride comes over to hand me my tip. She has it in the card. She hands me my tip. Thank you, Ricky, for making this night memorable. I'm just glad. Did you guys have a good time? I always ask. I just want to make sure that you had a good time. And I congratulate them because I congratulate her because, listen, the husband had already left. He had already peeled out. He, you know what I'm saying? Him and the boys was already tore up. And I congratulate her. I say, I want to I wanna congratulate y'all for doing it the right way. And what I mean when I say that, y'all know what I mean when I say that. That means I'm saying two people. Starting off young, I believe the bride was either 23, she was either 23 or 22. The guy I know for a fact was 24 because I asked him and he told me. Right? And he told me. And I'm thinking, my perception is saying, hey, you guys are two young people that decided to build y'all lives together as one. That's a good thing in this world we're in. And you know what she talks to me about? What she says is this to Ricky Williams, right? He, she says this to Rick. Yeah. I got this. We got this wedding done. I don't have any debt. This wedding didn't cost me any money. I promised myself, both of us promised myself that we weren't promised ourselves that starting our life together as a couple, we weren't going to have any debt whatsoever. I paid this. I paid that. We saved up. We got this done. Now we're going to go to Ireland for our, uh, they called it a mini moon, right? Because they were just going for three days or whatever. And we chopped it up about money. We chopped it up about how to move. Right? How to move, even though your money is limited, right? And she made more than her husband. We chopped about we chopped it up about how money really doesn't play a part in the hierarchy of their family. Her man is her man, and she is his wife. And I say, and I tell you guys this story because I peeped every wedding this 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 summer and spring along. This summer and spring along, I think I did at least fifteen weddings. And when I go back in my mental rolodex, I peep the same actions at every single wedding. The groom shows up. The wife is there. She's dressed to the nines. They're dressed to the nines. 
the guys get out of there when the wedding's over. The woman, the women in the party clean up. Do the Macarena, black people. Yeah, you used to it, right? But what do we do, right? We do the Casper slide. We do the wobble wobble, right? We we can't just have one dance. The Casper slide, the cha cha slide. Step to the name of love. Right? They do the Macarena. You know why they do the Macarena, ladies and gentlemen? Because it's familiar. It's comfortable. Everybody in their circle can do it. Everybody in that circle can do it. They're comfortable spreading information at no cost, at no effort within their circle. What, is, what are we comfortable doing? Can't do the macarena. That's too boring. That macarena boring as fuck. Let's do that cha-cha slide. Let's do the wobble. You ain't going to play the wobble, Rick. Man, you better play that big, girls. You better play that big girls back it up, boy. Right? We comfortable with moving from place to place with no results. They comfortable with staying in that one spot and getting it done. Y'all need to think about that. Y'all need to think about that. Who else is they, Miss Legit? If it's not us, it's them, right? Catch it on a replay, sis. No disrespect. Right? You don't know how to do the Macarena. They'll show you. In they circle, you don't know how to do the Macarena. They'll show you. Ask me to come back and run the song back. That wobble come on and you don't know the dance. You on your own. Y'all don't hear me. Did you hear what I said? That wobble come on and you don't know how to do it. You on your own. Yeah. We got to start trusting the process and sharing the processes within our own community. Miss Legit, watch the video. I read the chat. Go back to the beginning and start over, sis. Don't attack the context if you don't know.
No disrespect. Let's let's start doing the Macarena again, y'all. Let's bring the Macarena back. Let's start doing the boring stuff to get to where we got to get, right? Let's make it so boring. Let's make it so routine that you can teach everybody around you. Let's start making it so everybody know. It don't take five different songs to show that we know how to dance together. You feel me? That's all I got on it. Again, if you don't get it, maybe you're not meant to get it. I'm not for everybody. Let's see what y'all saying. My boy so solid in the building. Hit the like button. You know Ricky going to give a good show. Be respectful or not. It's whatever. So solid again with the fast piece. Mental health is an excuse for everything today. I've seen mentally unstable people come in jail and act sane in a bit. Clement Gray, what's up, my guy? He said, my guy, Ricky, heard you on crew season. You keep being you, brother. You're not alone in your struggle. May God continue to have his hands on you. It's not a struggle, Clement. It's what it is. I chose my path. And I'm proud of it. That's a different video, though. That cha-cha slide, Andre. That Cupid shovel. <laughs> Noble Xavier. Right? So, hey, y'all see the link is pinned to the top of the chat. We got the Zoom open. We're going to change it up. You know what I'm saying? So click the Zoom. I just need you to verify who you are when you come in. Then you can if you want to stay on screen. Or you can go ahead and uh, shut it down and just talk. But we're going to use the Zoom link. Again, you guys got to remember, this is where trying stuff out to see see what see what works right so the zoom is in the is in the top of the the chat click if you have anything you want to discuss uh today is for the ladies today is for the ladies ladies if y'all got anything y'all want to discuss any questions you have about relationships anything you want to talk about today now is the time now is the time uh, the likes is looking kind of thin. We are a little bit over half. We had 191 by 252. Could y'all please get us to about 215? If y'all get me to 215, I really appreciate it. Um, if not, I'm gonna put it. Uh, we're gonna go to commercial break. <laughs> y'all know how I love them commercials, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Lapeat Network, hit that like button. Also, make sure you guys check out the sponsor of the network that is Teach Hanley. Go ahead and order the skincare for men. Um, they give you everything you need, all instructions in the box. And because you are on the Lapeep Network, they will give you a 30% off your first box. The link is in the description. Anything, ladies, this is your time. This is your time, ladies. I don't bite. Just sad. Lady D, you can definitely click the link and uh, give us your opinion and we can talk about it like adults. M. Wilbur said, we don't want to hear it. Any advice I get to people, they think I'm talking down to them, M. Wilbur. Hey. Down the Marco, Marco. <laughs> 
take notes. When they move, they move as a unit. Everybody got everyone and they move intentional together. Shelton Ward in the building. Let me add to Collection Paint. Let's get those likes up, family. I appreciate you, Shelton. Nobody? Hello. Uh, I'm talking crazy. I ain't even launched a meeting yet, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, Zoom. There we go. Let me see if I can switch this camera. Hold on, y'all. There we go. Nope, that ain't it. Nope, that ain't it either. I'm going to have to use my, my baby webcam on this one, y'all. Sorry. Come on now. Come on now. Trying to. Oh, man. Oh, man. Give me a second, y'all. Bear with me. I apologize, ladies and germs. Uh, I'm about to call you back, lover. I'm about to call you back. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'm back, man. Yeah, I got it up, man. My face big as hell in this thing, man, because I got to use my uh my webcam, but that's neither here nor there. So go ahead, click the link, y'all. If y'all want to come through, come through. I don't know what this show about. What happened? What the heck? Okay, we back. We back. We good. No, I'm good. I got it. I got it, y'all. Uh, y'all gonna call in? No bueno. No fun. Gonna be able to. No bueno. Yeah, I was talking to my wife, guys. Yeah, we good. We we good, Jr. Uh, I was just having problems with the with with the camera setup. It's no bigs. Um, hey, S Love, how you doing? Yeah, the calls are anonymous, Marcus. That's why we get it going, so you can just blank yourself out. 
All right, you just blank yourself out. Hey, JR, we just gonna do the number. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. They come on, y'all. Just just call in then. Just call in then. I'm gonna kill the zoom. Nobody's coming. Oh, hold on. Oh, see, that's just me. Yep, host me. That's it. That's it. All right. We're just gonna do the number. Okay, ladies, gentlemen, the number is rolling 507 319 1027. You can call me direct. Go ahead and shut that zoom down because ain't nobody biting. Yeah. So there y'all go. The number 507 319 1027. The number is 519. I'm sorry, 507 319 1027. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I need to go there. Back there. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Nobody? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? <laughs> Bueller. No brave souls this week, huh? No brave souls this week, huh? 241 people. I talked about this early on my live, man. I ain't going to even get into it, though. I ain't going to get into it. FGB, I see you. About face, give you five minutes, okay. I'll wait. Oh, great. Hey, Marcus, he said, uh, in the meantime, did you get a chance to look into that safety act? Illinois bugging, bro. <laughs> Illinois bugging. He, like, uh, uh, Marcus, I didn't, I didn't look at the law, bro. I didn't look at the law, uh, but I'm going off what I see in front. I'll read it later, of course, right? Um, but the, the part that got me with this, uh, bro, is that is it though, Marcus? Is it though? What 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 I what what I said, what Marcus, this the part that get me, right? And you might be right because I haven't looked into it, so I can't deny anything I don't know, right? So why is it that you have to be eligible eligible for probation for any any of that to apply, right? Or is that the one where the cops can't kick in the doors or whatever? Which one is it? Because I know it's a couple of the, the one from Illinois is, is crazy, bro, with, with I bonds, right? No cash bonds. Is that the one we talking about? Or is this something else? Man, shout out to y'all in the building with the likes. I appreciate y'all. Okay, Marcus, that's the only thing. Yeah, that's the only part I can discuss because that's the only part I know, right? So you have to be able, like, you got you to gotta know how these people think. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be able to, you have to be able to be, to, you have to be able, blah, 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 blah. You have to be eligible. We, we got a caller. Hold on. Hello? Hello, man. I speak to Ricky. Hey, you're speaking with them, sis. How you doing? Yes, I'm Sharon Compton. Well, all right, Miss Compton, how hey. you doing? <laughs> Can you hear me? Um, I'm on you for real. Yeah. I'm finally caught up with Rick. Yeah. I don't know. You don't believe it? You are awesome. Oh, thank you. You're awesome, too, in many ways. Listen, I love what you say. And I'll tell you what, don't back down from nobody. 
I, I don't know how. Me neither. <laughs> you got a little masculine. You got a little masculine in you. You see it until you already stuck. Think you were easy, you know, yeah, transforming and even real, but it was fake. Okay. Yeah, oh, man, don't talk to me. What? That's crazy what I just said, but get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was. So how can yeah, I... Yeah, but pay attention to what I'm going to say. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm all ears. Well, now, nah, I've been married three times, right? Mm-hmm. And... Failed. Okay. Had many boyfriends, but I stay honest. Okay. I never take out on another man with a, another man did or don't or think about the because I ain't no mind reason. Mm-hmm. I can only go with what's presented to me, right? You can only go with what's presented to you, yes. Okay. We need to get our boy. And girls, too, because they are hurting them. And we need to uh, teach them. We don't need to be doing no rock. You know, no brick. Mm. We need to really talk to each other. And if we love each other enough, like we say we do, get a fall in place. Okay. So what what do you think is the real issue? Do you think it's just communication or do you think it's... Uh, do, communication. You, you think so? Because you remember the, honor, the, the Amazon women back when before civilization, white people were leaving around. So how can they tell your story? No, you, you lost me on that one. No, they wasn't. The Amazon women, the, the, the Amazon correct. Let me get my words straight and speak clear English. Okay. The Amazon woman was not a bogus, masculine, stupid, dumb woman. The Amazon? She, I'm sorry. The, um, the Amazon woman, uh -huh. black, she was Amazon. That's where Amazon comes from, from her out of Africa. Are you crazy? But listen, she protected the community when the man was way at war. Okay. Hey, Silver and Springs, she, I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back, Silver Springs. Oh, oh, you talking to me? Yeah, somebody was calling in, sis, so I, I, I was just saying on the, on the screen, I'll call him back. Oh, okay. Well, what I was saying, they were not like that. Don't believe that. They were true warriors. They stood by their men. And when they were men, and they were left all women by crazy men, not good men, crazy men. They helped good men keep the crazy men awake. Okay. They protected. They were warriors. Okay. No, because you was off to war, right? Yeah. Who going to protect the women and children so they train certain women? Within its community, within its tribe, right. to protect. Okay, hold hold up. I'm I'm confused. I'm confused. Where we where we going with this? No, they a lot of guys saying they're not gonna watch oh, the uh, the movie. Right. Okay. But that movie is not right. This this is not what they did. It was no all woman army. It was all woman army. Okay. Designed by men. Okay. But when they're way at war. Well, 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 the, 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 the. They the, did not overpower me. Under, they understood. just took care of. Understood. Hold on, hold on. Right. For one, if we're talking about this movie, it's, it's, it's an oxymoron because there's no such right, thing as a woman. Right, but that movie team. is lying about those women. They were nothing like that. Like, women are so much stronger than men. We could only been that strong when we were strong because the day made us who we were as Amazon. We was Amazon, and we were warriors. Okay. True factor for the man and keeping him built up and protecting his children, his parents, his aunts and uncles that were old. The village goes on. They keep the stories to tell the truth. Okay. 
Well, I, I hear you. That's on, what I'm uh, Don't yeah, get me wrong. Uh, no, no, you good, sis. You good. I'm all upset. I can't explain. No, no, you good. It's okay. Um, it's as simple as this when it comes to stuff like that. If you don't believe in it, don't pay for it. They lie. Okay. That, that, listen, listen to what I'm. Listen to what I'm saying, right? There's, there's no point for you to make here. You said, you, you said what you said. No disrespect, right? But what, what I'm saying yeah. is this, and this is what, this is what I, and this is what I, I, I say all the times over on my channel, on my channel, right? You, you pay for what you want, right? So even if the story is a lie, black, the black people that want the lie gonna pay for it. Well, let's just go ahead and get their damn lie. Right. So again, you know, I'm not going for it. You don't. You don't. I'm have not to. a participate. I am not a John Hancock. You don't have to. Right. You don't. I have know to. the truth. Yeah. The and truth. we took care of each other. We were forced to do a lot of things, and everybody had to pitch in. Right. Right. They lying. Women did not overpower their men. They came up with that shit. Facts. Peace. So, so I hear what you're saying, but you know they ain't making nobody do nothing now. So, what's the solution? No, they ain't making nobody do nothing now. So that's a different thing, right? Today, I know. Right. Yesterday is not today, but the same old damn game. Facts, right? So, how can I help you? Did you have any questions? Did you have anything you wanted to run by me that you wanted to talk about, or do you just wanted to state your opinion? Yeah, I did want to ask you one question. Okay, there you go. I have a man. He got my back, right? Uh huh. And everything I do. Mm -hmm. He with me, he don't. But he's not participating. What good is the money if you show me no Okay. You know I'm gonna do the right thing, but he feels comfortable with just giving me all the money because he don't do the right thing. Okay. And you... then the money I do have. But what I'm saying is, where is the attention? And then, if I need a job done, he don't participate. He's rather need to pay somebody else. What is all of that all about? Well, we already know it's simple, it's cheap. Now, something we don't know, I can understand of going after teaching someone of this. But this is stuff we already know. Okay. So so just to make sure I'm hearing you, you saying you with a guy, he do everything you need, right? He give you the what? money. He he give you the money to handle stuff and you saying why don't you handle it, correct? Right, but then they abuse that money. Who abused the money? You know he, him or you? I'm talking about Both the of people who, no, he does in the way he does. Because things we know how to do, we can do them and get them done. We have more than enough time on our hands, believe us. Believe me when I tell you that. What I'm saying is, why not do nothing at all and keep paying these people in the car? And things are not getting cheaper. Facts. So what you already know. Okay. Okay. Question. I'm frustrated. Uh, I don't know how to explain. No, you explaining it well, right? You explaining it well, right? So my question is this: When y'all for how long y'all been together? First and foremost, almost eleven years. Eleven years. Are y'all married? And it get worse as time go on. Are y'all married? No. Okay. Great. Question: Was he always like this? No. So he used to fix stuff, and now he doesn't. Yeah, he used to work with me. If he didn't know how, he wanted to know what I know, and I used to show him. And once he found out how much I knew, it seemed like he just quit working with me. Okay. Because he didn't know as much. Okay. So. And then I bought books. I buy books. I buy equipment for you. Equipment and stuff to get the job done. Okay. So you want him to be like you? No, like himself. No, he fixed stuff on his own, but it doesn't benefit the whole picture. To you? Uh, well, to me, I wouldn't care if it was going to benefit me or not. I'm going over there and help him get it done. Okay? Right, but we're not talking about that, right? Your complaint was does that he keep paying for shit. And why don't you oh, fix it itself? Why are you talking to me? Huh? I'm, I'm, Man, I'm just saying you what you did. said. You know what I'm talking about now. We need to do, we do need to come together at certain things now. Come on. 
Yeah, but you got to clarify. If you're going to tell a lie, tell a lie all the way, right? Because I'm going off what you told me. Oh, I can't lie on that man. I ain't going to lie on that man. That's a good man, but he don't do shit else. Okay. He just make money, and I don't want to spend money we don't have to spend. If we both can get it done. Right, right. So if he didn't spend money, if he didn't spend money, you'd be like, get it done, right? Is it getting done? Just a question. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Okay, so. Spend so, money so ho- hold on. Hold on. We're sis. not living in hey, no time hey, today. Hey, chill out. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, God. What I'm saying is this. I'm asking questions, right? Yes. You're with him, correct? Yes or no? I'm this trying is, to understand. No, no, yes. don't, don't understand anything. Could you please just answer my question? You're what with your question? you're with him, correct? Yes, I am. Yes. There's something, there's some benefit that you're getting out of that man to keep you there, correct? A lot. Huh? But I want two extra damn hard unnecessarily. What do you mean he doesn't do anything else? Isn't getting money and taking care of you, doesn't Come he? Come weave every now and then as you pass. Right. So does he take care of you? Does he provide for your home? Does he abuse you? He provides for my home. No, he don't abuse me. Is he he a... raised his hands once, and that was nine years ago. Right. He never done anything. Okay. Is he a good partner? Um, yeah, somewhat. Mm-hmm. Somewhat. This, these are yes or no questions. Okay, yes. Okay, so he's doing what he needs to do for you. He's doing what he needs to do for you, but at this point, he got to do something else, right? I let him do it. So oh, if, no, I'm not the type. Of, I don't complain. No, you can ask him. This, this, this not this, this not here. complaining. No, it's not. He is not doing. Look, I got a roof, right? I'll bet that likes to fight me. He needs to go and let this rooster know, leave mama alone. Or or you could just buy a hen that the rooster want to fuck, right? He's fucking them all. I got 28 chickens and one rooster. Who provided the, who, who provided? He ain't sex with us straight. I think he over Who Who provided you with the roosters and the chicken? When the chickens and the roots for me and him, I okay. bought them with my own money, and then he invested more. Right, right. You was able to buy the chickens with your own money because of why? I'm not saying he is not a good provider. I'm asking you how to help me with the man to get him to do a little bit more work. What other work does he really get his rest. So that will require. I want him rest. So if you want him to rest, that will require you to work, correct? I'm not having a problem with me working. Okay. You know I work. I can. I grow. I, I landscape. I do it all. Okay. Okay. I, I, so so let's let's get to the meat. Let's get to the baseline, right? No. Look. Uh, look. Y'all been together for 11 years. This man has been, you allowed this man, you, you, not him, you, you allowed this man to get comfortable with providing the way he provides. You never put a limit on him. You never said, hey, now it's 11 years down the line and you want to complain about some shit he's been doing for 11 years. How did that make sense? I mean, complain is a new, <laughs> but I like him so much. So either you like him or you got boundaries. Which one is it? I have them both. No, and he knows no, he you have don't. a moment. No, you, no, you don't. Because... No, I don't go to the beauty shop. I grow my own hair. I make my own hair product. I, did, I, I did. do a lot of things. Stop, I grow all stop, my stop, own stop, herbs. Stop, 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 okay. stop. This is where all women go to about what y'all do with money, da, 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 da. This oh. is not where I'm at. Where I'm at is No, saying, I want to talk about no money. Stop, this don't stop, cost me stop, nothing. Stop, it's free. Stop, please stop. Please stop. I need you to He's listen. He's making me spend money on unnecessary things. We don't need to bring in strangers into our home. We already know how to do it. Let's get that done. Then what all we don't know how to do, that's what we save the money on. Has, has he been doing that? No. And how long has he not been doing that? For about a year. So for one year, he been paying for stuff. 
Yes, out of our own money and pocket. But if necessary, spend it too much. It is not the right. I'm for real now. Turn on your light bulb and get with the program. What all you get, know how to fix get, to get with your program, right? <laughs> get with our program. No, no, no. Get with your no, program. No, get with the program. The program that human beings should be on um, for survival skills. Get with your program. Why do you say that, Rich? Because you're the one here yeah, complaining. That's all right. I'm not anymore. He do fix things. That's not complaining. So, so you lying. Right. So you lying, I'm then, saying right? Is if we could save some money and do it together, so, he knows. So, 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 know so you're lying, right? So, so, so you're money. lying. You're gonna keep talking, so, right? So you're lying, right? No, 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 no. He needs to work with he, me more and stop fix, putting it out on me he, and learn from me. What, what you like mean I'm putting it off from him? What you mean put it off on you? I have a rigorous work program, like he rigorously works. So both of y'all working. Oh man, y'all liars! Stop lying. I'm not lying. You lying? No, I'm not saying I don't appreciate him or nothing like that. Oh, so why are you complaining? God, I'm not. I'm not. Is this not what it? The man. Hold, hold on, sis. Hold on. Hold on. Check. Oh. Check. If this is complaining, press one. Chat. Zero. If this is complaining, right, press one. Complaint. No, no, these these are not complaints. These are concerns, and some are discerning. Look at the chat. Because sis. you know what? Look at the you chat, sis. What? I got no reason to lie to you, sis. Look at the chat. Oh, I I can't see the chat right okay. now. Okay, so let me let me wrap this with a bow. And shout out to you for calling in. This is no disrespect. And I want to thank you. I appreciate you a I lot. Wanna thank you. And thank you for I, listening to me and giving me a voice. Let and let me let me make this simple for you, right? Mm -hmm. You've been with this man eleven years. That man gonna be who he gonna be, right? Any changes that he's gonna make? I let him be. Do you? Yeah, I am. Yeah. And he can't stand for me to leave. And I don't threaten them with it either. I, like I, some bitches do. How you know they he dying low down with that nasty ass. How, how you know he can't stand it if because he never Because you be working on people like, I let him think he leaving. Look, how you going to say he can't stand, he couldn't stand if you, let, if, if you leave, if you never left? Because he started calling my phone when he don't call you me. You just said you time. never left. I said I don't threaten him to leave when I leave. When I left, okay, I did leave one. Okay, so I when didn't we, threaten him with when that. You, when you going to stop lying? When fight. you going to stop lying to me? I left to stop the fight. When you going to stop lying to me? That's the first question I want to ask you past this point. When you going to stop lying to right, me? That's all right, Ricky. You know what? I can't keep talking to you and calling you and you telling me I'm lying when I'm telling you the truth. Then you stop that. You just told me. I'm not a bad said, woman. I'm I a didn't good say, woman. I didn't say you was. I, I need I you am. to tell me the truth. This is the truth. You just I said, left one. I'm about to I left one. Sharon, I'm about to I let you go. Home. I'm about to let you Wait go. Wait a minute. I'm about he called to, me nope, up nope, at the nope, hotel nope. and came there and picked me up and for, brought me back home. Look, Bottom line. I'm not gonna argue with you, sis. For one, you, you don't so listen. So what's wrong with me for, telling you for, the truth? For one, you don't listen. Two, you're going to watch this video and see what I'm talking about because you said that you never left, and then two seconds later you said you left before. You lied. I never left. You I wasn't lied. gone 24 hours. So did you leave or did you stay? Did you not leave? To get away from the, the trouble. I didn't want it to escalate. I left. I had nothing else to say. So you if didn't I leave. So else, you didn't leave. It would have brought him down low. Sharon. Sharon. So you didn't leave or you left? I didn't leave. I just removed myself from the situation. Okay. So seeing how you never left, how can you say he can't stand to see you leave if you never left? He can't. If he think I think about it, if I say nothing, he like, what you, where you going? Would I make a move? Nothing. Anything else? Anything? I, I can't help you with this one. Any Anything else you want to cover? Sharon? No, you can't. I can't uh -uh. help you with this no, one. No, you can't. I can't help you. No, with you this can't. 
so you right about that, Ricky, because no one can have this one because it's all too common. Okay, shout out. But, hey, shout out to your guy. Yeah, me too. Hey, Julius, you a great man. Shout out to Julius. You a wonderful hey, man. Let me get them claps up for Julius. <laughs> Get them sh- hey, Julius, Julius, wherever you at, Julius, wherever you at, man. Hey. I don't can see this. I'm gonna tell him to watch it. Julius, wherever you know that he is appreciated. Right, please do. Please do. Tighten up on some things. Please do. Give Julius so my number. The end of the game. Give Julius my number so I can buy him a drink. I'm about to let you go, sis. This yeah. is going nowhere. Okay, okay. All right, Ricky. I love you. And thank you. I appreciate you so much. Right, and tell the kids and all them guys, say, uh, love uh, is on the way and don't stay. I will, sis. Thank you for calling in. I appreciate you. All right. All right. Now. <laughs> Sharon. Sharon. I'm going to say this before I make this call out. And this will apply to every single one of y'all life. We cannot have a conversation until the basis of truth is, is established. We cannot have a conversation until the basis of truth is established. Britt, what's up, beautiful? How you doing? <laughs> Julius, the number is scrolling at the bottom of the screen, my guy. Call me, bro. <laughs> Whatever you drinking, I'm buying. Whatever you drinking, I'm buying, boy. Boy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Silver Springs, I'm calling you back. <laughs> hey, good evening, Ricky. What's happening with you, sis? How you doing? Hey, I'm good. Shout out to you for the call. I got you. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> How y'all feeling out there in the chat? Hey, chat, she said, what's happening, man? What you got for us today? Let's have a conversation. How can I help you today? Yeah. Yeah. So, actually, I was thinking when I um, when the last caller, Sharon, was on, actually, if you could tell me before I get started, you were saying something about, like, some key things. You said you were going to do it before you called, but then the call came in before I got to hear what you were about to say, like, the points you were about to make. Oh, we, we cannot have a conversation. Until a basis of truth, until we get to a basis of truth. Okay. Right? I'm not here to judge okay. you. I'm here to talk to you and let you know from my experience how I would see it going. Okay? I'm not here to yep. judge. Your life is your life. You're going to live it. We're here to talk. All right? How, okay. can I, how can I help you? Cool. So, yeah, I was thinking when she was, um, when she was going over her call, it made me think about, um, it made me think about submission. Because I find that, like, right now in dating, what dating seems like, because I've been married before, it seems like marriage without a vow or commitment. Mm. And so, like, for me, being in it, it's kind of an awkward space because it's like this woman, she's in a position where she should be able to submit to her man and, like, just let him run the program how he wants to do it because he seems like, you know, he's getting the bills and everything paid. Mm-hmm. But it's also like the like the common narrative I hear across the board is like women want to put parameters on submission. But submission looks like when you don't like when you think your idea is better than your man's idea, Mm -hmm. when you think you have a better program than his program, your program, your program. Yeah. Yeah. When your program is better than his program in your mind, then that's when submission really kicks in. It's really saying no to yourself so that way you can fully follow somebody else Mm -hmm. without you trying to be like so much in leadership. So. Yeah, I was just thinking about that when she was calling. Yeah, yeah. You see, and, and see, that's the thing. And look, and before we get to what me and you want to talk about, right? This, this is the problem that damn near every man goes through. You know what I mean? Uh, the, mm-hmm. the thing is, is that it seems like 
with the modern the I ain't gonna, the modern female because traditional women are still out there, fellas. They still out there, bro. Right. But with that being said, sis, I got to put my onus on the men because I always do. You have to provide that space for them to be feminine, right? To mm -hmm. you got to have the, you got to provide a space for them to say, okay, he's handling his business. I can, I can, I can, I can hit the brakes a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in, in this case with sis, right? Mm -hmm. the, you can't say in the same, you can't say in the same breath, he's providing, right? He's doing everything I need to do, but. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and that's what that's what 99% of these men get. Yeah, like I said, mm -hmm. most these average guys that's out here keeping this place running, that's working day to day, delivering your mail, picking up your trash, cleaning up your streets, fixing your cars, working at the schools, right? Mm -hmm. Break our necks, right? P, I'm not going to keep saying, look, we all deal with stuff we don't want to deal with at work, right? So how how can I how can my how can my work be experience being any different than yours? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You at work yeah. and people telling you what to do, you don't like it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you do it. You do it, right? And you come home, but you won't do it at home. Yeah. With somebody you see, right? Because no matter what nobody says, bro, if a man is loving you and he's taking care of you, right, he's out there spending energy every day to put into you and you and, 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 and the family. Mm -hmm. He's doing everything I need, I need him to do, but right? Y'all gotta learn, yeah. y'all gotta learn to fight, not you. It's never anybody I'm talking to on the panel, right? It's never mm -hmm. that, right? But women, y'all have to learn to fight that hypergamy nature the same way we got to fight that urge to go out and stick another chick to keep you happy. Mm -hmm. Right? See, mm -hmm. when it's women doing it, look, and this is what's crazy, right? Listen to what I'm saying, right? Need y'all to listen. I need y'all to listen. My wife is on one today. It's cool though. I still love my baby, right? Um, and listen, right? And this the part that gets my goatee, right? When a woman does it, listen, especially look in these. <laughs> Sharon, you cool, you cool, <laughs> right? So this is the thing, right? Look, look at. Look at these spaces today. And the thing is, is that people want to say social media is this and that, right? But it's just an echo of what really goes out in the world. Social media is simply people saying the stuff that they see out in the world today, right? That's all it really is, right? So look at how they put it on it now, right? You special, you a special woman right now if you and your feminine, right? Mm -hmm. You above the group think. You one in a million. Right? Yeah. That's what they say. But if you a man that's taking care of his family, you just say, hey, you just like the rest of them, right? You doing what any other man would do if they was with me, right? You doing anything other I would you doing anything, you doing anything that I would expect from the, the bum on the street to the guy with a million dollars, right? You got to take care of me. Y'all don't hear me. Did you hear what I said? Y'all don't hear me. Right? And every day, y'all can say, y'all women can say in the same space, the same space y'all ask for, right? The same space where y'all say men do this and that, and men do this, and men are dogs and all this stuff. Y'all can say in the same space, a man can't be with me unless he take care of me, but y'all be with a man and don't even try to take care of him. What part of the game is that? And now that men have a space to let y'all know, we ain't going for it no more. I ain't going to say we, because my, like I said, I provide, I provide a space for my wife to be in her thing. You know what I'm saying? At my detriment, right? Because I ain't no rich, big baller, shot caller, but it's the choice I made to make my wife happy, right? But with that, I expect 
with that, I expect to be treated a certain way, to be revered a certain way, because these minutes that I put into this, that I put into this life that I live to give to you, I don't get back. I don't get them back. And if I'm willing to leave all the shit, the only thing women, the modern women say matters to a man, right? Getting pussy, getting pussy. Ain't this what they say? Ain't this what they tell us? <laughs> tell me when I'm off, sis. You're not. I'm listening. Tell me when I'm off. The same way I got to fight because dudes that know, no. And the crazy thing is the ladies that know, no, too. Y'all know them dudes who ain't got no problems with pulling them. Ugly, short, fat, bald head, it don't matter. Y'all know the ones who can spit at a chick and be like, she going. So the same way we got to fight that urge, the natural urge, the only thing that's different between us and animals is that we're able to condition ourselves against our nature. If we weren't be able to control our minds and condition ourselves to be civilized, we'd be just like a dog out there, just like a chimpanzee, a gorilla, a giraffe, a deer, a cow, a bull, whatever the fuck. So why is it that we must fight our nature to make you happy and keep you going, but you ain't got to do shit as a woman, but be there. What part of the game is that? It sounds like the princess syndrome. Sounds like what we were programmed with as little girls, like on Disney channel where these princesses, they get rescued by this prince and he take care of them. But, it never really shows the princess being a, being a wife. It shows her being a queen or being a princess. Right. And so, what the part of the story that Disney don't tell you is that that prince becomes a king. <laughs> they don't tell you that part of the story, right? Mm -hmm. That that prince will someday become a king. And when that guy's a king, even though he chose you, he got his pick of the litter. Yeah. And it's some things that's no white. Or Cinderella gonna have to deal with because he is the king. Mm -hmm. So what do you think happens when that king becomes a king? When that prince becomes a king, but that princess doesn't rise to the occasion of being a queen? She gets dismissed. Get out of here, peasant. Go back to sleep. Kiss a frog. Go back to kissing frogs. Mm -hmm. The game ain't fair. We understand it. I say it all the time, sis. The game is not fair. And men understand it better than y'all. But women continue to try to break the social contract that comes with this. Y'all yeah. y'all ask for equality, but y'all don't want what come with it. If you a boss bitch, that means you're a boss. Mm -hmm. So what would you need with another boss? It's simple, ain't it? Mm -hmm. But quite clever. Yeah. And it's all done in love. That's what people don't understand it. I do it because I love you. Not because you, you. Not, not because it was some special magical shit you did. I love you because you, you. But like I said, the modern, the modern day woman, y'all frown upon it. Y'all spit on it. Y'all disregard the normal guy because 1% of men A man y'all will never get 
Y'all don't want to do the work for a regular guy. What the fuck make you think a guy or a rapper or entertainer or somebody big money going to spot you in the audience at a concert because you dress nice and your hair is long and your fake lashes on and say, ooh, you the one I want. And y'all think y'all winning the game. The only thing, the only thing y'all have, the only thing y'all have that keep y'all in the game is y'all looks. <laughs> y'all looks. Mm -hmm. And then when them look fade, what y'all want to do, right? Y'all want to get a guy that you should have had in the first place and then say the guy that took you on after you've been, been Look, and it ain't even about just being ran through because don't nobody know how many numbers on your pussy, right? But now that you didn't already picked up all this emotional and mental baggage, you more than likely got kids, right? Because when he was fucking you and long dick willing you, he said, I want you to have my baby, right? And because you love the dick so much, you let him pull a condom off and shoot that nut up in you, right? So more than likely you got kids by Tyrone or Future and whoever else. And this man come in and he take you on. And then y'all say, you settling. Chat, tell me when I'm off. No, you're not off. But the thing is, I think with women, like the, like the programming is deep. And like, I know it because I've been trying like to be active in my like in my life, well, a little bit more active, a little bit. Pay, pay more attention to like the decisions I'm making and the outcomes like in a way I never had before but it's like like the programming keeps wanting to keeps wanting to set keeps wanting to set women back almost so to like where men are saying like y'all are saying be yourself that's who like that's what's going to like that's what's going to help things flourish is if you're yourself but I think that um women the programming is deep because the women tend to look in the mirror and add all these artificial things and then say this is me mm-hmm like it starts there, like it's that serious. And I think a lot of times women, they like to say it's not that serious and this is just how I like to do and this is just what I like, but it's not about you. Mm -hmm. Like that's the first step in submission is learning that it's not about you. It's not about what you like and what you want. It, and, and, and this is the thing, sis, um, and I talked about this on crew. Hey, three, uh, New York, I'm going to call you back. All right. Um, this what and this is what women don't understand since we own it since we own this conversation, right? Femininity gives y'all everything you need. Let me explain. If you are in your feminine, what that means is when the, I don't I don't care if it's a Pookie Ray Ray, I don't care if it's a Russell Wilson, a Ricky Williams, a a, a Jr. Whoever, right? A Black Jack, you name it, right? You name it. It don't matter. Some dude, right? If you ain't your femininity, right? A dude's going to know that. Simple. Then that's why I say when you open your, when women open their mouth, if you, anything about yourself as a young man, mystery, what up business brains, right? If you anything, if you any type of a man, right? When a, when a woman open her mouth, you're going to know what's happening. Right. Because me as a man, I like women. Right. So I study women. Right. When you went, when you in the game and you chasing and you going hunting. Right. You just don't be like, oh, that's a deer. You study the deer. You see they mating happens. You see where they go. Right. You see where they piss at. Right. You, you, you study the deer. That's what women don't understand about femininity, sis. Mm -hmm. If you was, if you was in your feminine, you get everything you want. Right. Let's say you got a pookie. Right. Mm hmm. What do pookies do? Y'all all know. Y'all seen the examples. I was, I, you know what I'm saying? I was a good woman. You know what I'm saying? This was my first boyfriend. I started out. I gave him everything. Gave him money. Bought him a car. Uh, put Bought a car. Paid for the car. Uh, financed it. Had put my name on it. Let him use my credit cards. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Then he ended up fucking your best friend, getting her pregnant, leaving. You stuck with all his debt. And now you harboring that. And the next guy got to pay. Right? Ain't this how it go? Mm-hmm. If you was in your feminine, and a and a man took advantage of that when you presented it to him. You will have the answer you needed. Mm -hmm. Right? No fighting, no yeah. arguing. 
Are you moving as a woman in your feminine and allowing him to leave, giving him the lead? And if he took advantage of it, you'd have the answer you needed. Mm -hmm. If you if you in your feminine and you got with the guy, Miss Murray, I'm gonna call you back. Believe you me, y'all y'all come through. I got y'all tonight. Right, we on one tonight. Right. Yeah. So, and let's say you was a feminine woman, right? And you got a you got a good dude. Right. Starting at the starting at the bottom, working his way up in the middle or the top. Right. Yeah. You come in and you a feminine. He come in and say, hey, I'm going to take care of you. This is what I'm on. Blah, 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 blah. Right. You you sitting back. Going to let him say going to make him say, yeah, this this the one. I I got a this the one I got to. Right. Mm -hmm. I got to. And you got a winner. Guess what? You know everything you need to know. Mm. Right? This is why I tell y'all, just be right. If you write, all questions are answered. What question do you have with staying with a person that's no good for you if you was doing right? Mm -hmm. Right? But the truth is, a lot, men and women, men and women, right? Y'all in these relationships, not doing y'all part. So when some shit happen, you look at them like, you know what? I was fucking up, man. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to Tony on the side and shit. And maybe he knew. May, may, hey, probably he didn't even know, right? But maybe he had a feeling, right? So I got to give him some grace because if if he knew, if he knew what I was doing, right? <laughs> right? And that could, and that goes into all things, right? Oh, I, yeah. I made more, I made more money than him. I was always talking down to him. I told him to get out my house three times. Dad, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. And as a man, yeah. as a man, how do I avoid that by being a man? You can't put me out of no house I paid for. Yeah. Right. You can't yeah. sit up there and talk down to me and act like you bigger than me when I ain't out here fucking no bitches. I'm providing for you. We in this together. Mm -hmm. I'm doing what I need to do to take care of you. You want to act stupid? Get the fuck on. Mm -hmm. Some woman out here appreciate me. Some guy out here appreciate me. But we don't want to have that conversation, though. Well, mm -hmm. that was different. That would require you to act outside of yourself. That would require you to be a better person. Yeah. But everybody perfect, everybody above it. It won't happen to me. It ain't never me. It's always the other person. The reason I act like this is because of them. Mm -hmm. Free game Fridays. No, you talking good for real. Free game that's Friday. Why, like, <laughs> Go ahead, sis. I'm sorry. I was going to say that um when when I first came on, I asked the question about, um, oh my goodness. I don't know why I just drew a blank. It'll come back. <laughs> Dang. About what, uh, Oh, Sharon about submission. Mm -hmm. No, we were talking about submission. Yeah. And so like, that's what I was saying. Like in dating right now, how dating is like how extreme it is and how much like proof mm -hmm. the men seem to need from the women. It, it's like marriage. It's on that level. Yeah, baby. Like, that's how it is right now in the dating realm. So then, like, I feel like then the struggle is, why would I be completely submissive to someone that hasn't made a vow to do the same with me? See, but... The, They're the, just doing it in action, uh, not in vow. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you, sister. Ladies made it this way. Yeah. Y'all you know, made it, it this I way. I get it, because I, I don't understand it, but, like, I, that's me, like, right now trying to navigate through that. I mean, are what what are you what are you saying? You you are you asking me how I would do it if I were you? Yeah. Okay. This is simple. This is easy, right? Do you have any guys of interest right now? Do you have uh, any guys yeah. you're interested in that you're actively dating? Oh, just one. Okay, one, one uno, right? How long y'all been dating? About six months. Six months, right? Y'all been intimate already? Yeah. Okay. What is he talking about? What? Nope. Erase that. Erase that. Fuck that. Fuck that. What are you talking about when y'all talk about y'all relationship? Are you saying that you want to be married or are you just cruising along hoping it go to where you want it to go? Oh, no, I'm very like I'm I'm very vocal about like like my like my intent 
mm-hmm. in the relationship to make sure. And I'm, I feel like I'm kind of constant about it. And I don't know. I mean, it may be annoying, but this is also, like you said, I got to be me. Yes. So, like, that's something about where I feel like I'm still in my feminine because I'm just curious to know. Like, we haven't made a, we haven't made a vow to one another where we have to include one another in each other's plan. So, like, I feel like it's my job and it's my position to ask those questions if I want to know how certain things he's going to be doing is going to affect our relationship. Okay. So, do you want to be married? Yes. Is he saying he wants to be married? Yes. So, what's... How long y'all been dating again? Uh, we've been dating for six months. Like been official, but we met last November. Okay. I'm just gonna say this: you was wrong giving him some box. Okay. Right, but this is where we at, right? Mm-hmm. This would I would if if I was a if I was a girl if I was a woman this is what I would do. Mm-hmm. Tell him, I want to get married X, X, X amount of time. And I'm not talking about no two years. I'm talking about six, eight months. Yeah. Six, eight months. Y'all been together for a year now, right? Yeah. Six, eight months. And leave it there. No complaining. No boo-hoo-woo-woo. Mm -hmm. I not I would like what do you think I want to be married in eight months then he's going to do one of two things if he wants to marry you not Mm -hmm. you wanting to get married if he wants to marry you He's going to marry you. If he doesn't, he's going to bullshit. At that point, you got a choice to make. Yeah. And that's where I'm at because I'm kind of like, I I need clarity because like, if I'm like, I'm cool with walking away. Like, that's not a problem. Like, if that's what it comes to, that's not what I want. But because it's not certain, there's no point in me like pouring all of my, all of my hope into that situation if it's just not even supposed right. to happen. Right. For why? He wasn't going to, how long was he going to wait for the box? Right. You see what I'm saying? Right? And how, yeah. how, how old are you, hon? If you don't mind me asking. 33. Stop bullshitting. Yeah. If you got your shit together and you a good looking lady, right? What? Yeah. I'm just saying. If you look, yeah. what, what you want is what you want. You know what I'm saying? What you want. And if you want to be married, I believe every, I'm not going to say every, but most women want to be married. They want to be, have a husband. You know what I'm saying? Look. Mm-hmm. This is what I mean when I say apply pressure, right? Pressure ain't sitting up there bitching and complaining in the moment. Pressure is setting your non-negotiable. And when it doesn't walk, when it doesn't go, move on. Yeah. That's what dudes do to y'all. Man, mm-hmm. I'm a dater, man. I'm paying for these dates, bro. I give, I give her a month, dog. Right? Mm. Yeah. If I don't get that box in a month, I'm sliding. Again, life is simple. The decisions are simple as fuck. It's the, the mm-hmm. I, I'm sorry, not the decisions. The answers are simple as fuck. What is difficult is the, the, the people that don't want to make the decisions, right? It's really a decision you don't want to make. And listen to what I'm saying. I'm just talking. I don't live your life. I don't know what y'all go through. But if I was a woman looking to get married, that's what I would do if that's what you want. Right. But if you mm-hmm. if you OK with dipping and dabbing and y'all slide and where y'all need to go, blah, 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 blah. That's cool, too. It's your life. I don't live it. Yeah. It's your life. I don't live it. I have not one cat, Blackjack. <laughs> I got a puppy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. So did I answer your question? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You got anything yeah. before we swing out? No, nope, I'm good. Okay. Time, and let me say this before I let you go. You know, I know you heard, mm-hmm. if you've been on this show, but you heard me. It It's not an ultimatum, Marcus. It's, it's a choice. Ain't no ultimatums. Can't nobody make you do shit. Mm-hmm. 
Can't nobody make nobody do shit. People do shit because they want to. Right? This is what she wants. Ask for what you want. You ain't going to keep going back to a restaurant that don't, hey, I want a steak, and they bring you chicken. Why y'all doing that in relationships? Yeah, I love you, right? But, hey, you not giving me what I need. I'm out. So let me ask you, would that would that be means like taking a leadership role and like not being in my feminine? Nope, nope. nope in that's, some sense? Nope, or that's state, does you, that not apply? That's you being a woman. That's you stating what you want from your man. Mm-hmm. He has a choice. You have to give him the choice. You got to give him the option. But you, how long are you going to sit on the side doing something you don't want to do? You want to be married to him. He should want to marry you. I'm 33. Somebody in the chat asked how old I was. Say hi to the people, Xavier. See? Okay. Puppy. I got a puppy. Well, maybe it's a cat. I don't know. <laughs> right you're 33 years old sis yeah it's it's, it's simple it's it's simple yeah people that want to get married get married men that don't want to get married and okay with keeping you on the side that's keeping you in a life and, and stretching you and stretching you and stretching you that's what they do mm -hmm. is that the man you get Only you know that. And if you don't know, then how you going to find out? By posing a question, correct? Mm hmm That's all you doing. I want to be married in eight months. Anything else I can help you with, sis? No, sir. I appreciate your call. Shout out to you. Another brave Thank soul. You. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let you go, sis. I appreciate you. All right. Have a great show. You too. Enjoy your weekend. Bro. All, right. All right. Yeah, man. It, it's not It's not hard, y'all. It's not hard, no. It's It's not hard. And like I said, it's, it's your choice. I ain't, hey, I ain't knocking nobody, bro. It's your choice. It's your choice. Bayside. Yeah, Clement. The, hey, that dog, 10 years old, man. I love that dog. I don't care what y'all say. Hello? Hey, good evening, sis. How you doing? I'm doing well, Ricky. How are you? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Every day above ground is a good day. How can I help today? Um, I just want to um just have a, I guess, your opinion about something. I'm happy. So, so um, I know you speak about relationships a lot. Um, if there was more women on this can, you, can you speak up a little bit, hon? I'm, I'm, I, I can barely hear you. I'm sorry. Let me try to put you on speaker. Okay. Is this better? Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, I put you on speaker. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, if there's more women on this earth, right? Mm -hmm. Then is it safe to say that every woman won't be married? Yes. Or get married? Yes. Why nobody talks about that? Because nobody wants to admit it. And that, mm -hmm. that, that would require all women to actually compete. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And when I, Go ahead, when I, when I say unfortunate, I mean that when they say, you know, the word compete, it's like, there's a lot of men and women that, we, we know that not doing right. Let's just say that. Yes. Okay. But at the same time, when you meet somebody in person, you should supposed to be able to pick up the energy, the spirit, and you will know. Supposed? You will know. But you're, you're supposed to? You should if you're able to do it. Okay. Let, let's let's go with the and I, I believe in energies, right? Listen to what I'm saying, right? But let's 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 explore that, right? Let's say someone's energy is right for you at that particular time, that particular day. We all have up and down days, correct? 
That's true. Right. So let's say the moment of this date of this meeting or whatever, the energy's right. Right? Yeah. Past that point, what information do you receive to let you know that person is a green light or a red light? Well, I get dreams, so for me, that it'll be a dream. You get dreams, right? So what happens when that person's actions don't match up with your dreams? Then they have to go. It's simple, ain't it? Yes, it is. Right. See, the thing is, is everybody think we have this commodity of time. And I told y'all before, we don't have time. Time has us. And there's no such thing as time. Is it? No, there's no such thing. Okay. So you're going to live forever? The reason why I say there's no such thing as time, when we deal with the clock, we deal with, okay, we have to go to appointment at two o'clock. We have to go to appointment here. Or you have to be on air at this time. That's that particular, that's the clock. But in self, there is no such thing as time. Okay. Okay. So let, let let me flip that on you, right? You have a time of birth and a time of death, though, correct? Yes. Okay. So how many days to your death? I don't know. All I, all I do know, it's not time for me to go because I experienced it a few years ago. And I just... It's a, Ever since that happened, me, you know, it just, it's just like God just showed me a lot of different things. So I just knew, okay, well, I have to just do certain things that I was going to do. Okay. Right. So are we talking about, again, great, great. And I want to thank you for allowing me to call you back. Right. So is there anything I can help you with today? Oh, no, I just wanted to, to say also that um, I think that people in general, because a lot of people, we're focusing so much on things that don't even serve us. That's facts. That's why I tell you don't waste time. You know, the thing you say that don't exist. Yeah, we really are. And I just hope that people just understand that it's so much. And not to, you know, not to put any type of fear to the lines or anything like that, but just, just be prepared, you know, to what's coming. Cause you know, things have changed right underneath you, but we all focus on this and things are going on over here. Again, it's not to be a fear factor, but just find out what are we doing here? What are we supposed to be doing? But you, would, but the truth is, it's something, something, hey, it's like that, uh, the lollipop commercial, the world may never know. You may never know. Mm -hmm. Right? The question is, you don't know the day is going to be over. None of us do. Right? If, if you do, you're a lucky person. Right? But none of us do. So why are we wasting time with people who don't love us and enjoy our company and are happy in our spaces? Oh, yeah. I totally agree with that. No matter if they family or not. I mean, I'm on this line, but my main telephone, I cut it off for the week because mm -hmm. there was a lot of energy and things that were just trying to come. And not to say, that, you know, that I'm, you know, scared of anything, but it's just that I don't need to engage in things that don't serve me. Mm -hmm. But I got up through my dreams. So, and they've been calling. Okay. People have been calling, but the, I'm just saying that, I do agree. You do not waste your time with people that don't care about you, but also be also be wary of those that you know attach themselves to you to get things as well. And it doesn't always be money all the time. Mm -hmm. No, it's money that people want from you. They can just be energy vampires. Period. Agreed. Um, hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. Bear with me, guys. I apologize. This is pretty important. It's fine. Yeah. Um, okay. And, uh, and shout out to you for calling in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out, shout out uh, to you for calling in. Uh, is there anything else you want to discuss? You know, relationship stuff, life stuff? What else? Oh, no. I'm not in a relationship. Okay. Do you want to be in a relationship? 
As of today, no. Okay, why not? Well, because the way how, listen, <laughs> the way how I was raised, the way, your bank, what I, the way your bank account set up, you got to check in in the savings. And, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> Go ahead. <I'm> <laughs> I don't think I do, but it's just that, you know, the way I was raised, you know, uh, I'll say this. If you try to, if you want to know, I'll say this. Like everybody in my family married children, not me. Everybody in your family I, is married, I, with, married with children, Al Bundy, but not, not you. Saying, no, yeah, everybody in my family, even the young ones, they still getting married. But that's the that's the spirit of my family. Even mm-hmm. the young men are getting married. Yeah, do they want to be I, married, right? Yeah, they want to be married. Me, I think that if I wanted to be married, probably when I was in like high school and the person I was with, that was the only person that I loved, in love with, mm. and. I still speak to him to this day. Like he just helped me like a couple of weeks ago with the Oh, e-work. that's dope. Is he single? No, he's not. Damn. No. So do 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 is he married? Yeah, he's married. His wife know about you? Yeah, she does. What? Why, uh, is he, hey, is he okay with having a second wife? You okay with him having a second wife? Um, I don't care about him having a second wife. I'm not even a first wife, so I can't even think about that. I'm, I'm <laughs> but... saying I'm saying you could be the second wife. You know what I can be, but I think that what it is is that we're not there. That was so long ago. Mm. But you still love him, right? I love him, but I'm not in love with him. Mm. Mm. You know? So you don't think you can fall in love again? Falling in love again. Um, No, I'm not going to deny that I can't fall in love again. I will never say never because, you know, my your words can be your spell. So, no, I'm not going to say that. I just think that it has to be that person. And it's not about someone's bank account and all these different things, but character, your spirit, you know, your family, that matters. You know, your aura, who you are, Mm -hmm. that matters. It's a lot of things. It's not just the basic things that, you know, that they're teaching the young ones, unfortunately, out here now. It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate, but. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of different uh, variables in it and relationships. I completely understand. I'm just messing yeah. with you though. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're not if you're not want to be in a relationship and you okay with your own company, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, I'll say this. You know, I, I was one person that I was speaking to, but I knew him for a few years. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, nine years. But um, nine years. Yeah, it was no, but I wasn't involved with him though. It's nothing like oh, that. Okay, I, had, I was about to say. Yeah, Damn. But, no, I had met a mixer in, in Manhattan, but no, I was I was just saying to him that, you know, sometimes people would say, oh, well, a person can say this, but it's not true. I said, yeah, but go ask my doorman. I bet she can tell you my ins and outs, who's coming in, who's coming out, what time I'm coming in, all these different oh, you things. Got, hold up, hold up. You got some, you got a doorman? Yes. Oh, you got some money. Huh? You got some money. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just messing with what you said. Go ahead and finish. I'm sorry. So I'm just saying in that it's more like, you know, because they see everything. Mm-hmm. They see who comes out. They see if I'm coming in. They ever they can never say they saw me coming in drunk, out of it, people, you know, all these different things. You know, that's on record. It's on camera. Okay. You know, but. what What's your address? I'm going to ask them for the tape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Midtown. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Net, like I said, Midtown Manhattan. She got some money, y'all. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, I I, I want to thank you for calling in, sis. I appreciate you. Again, like I said, another break. So y'all give her a round of applause, man. Oh, you so um, You got anything before we swing out, sis? No, it's just nice talking to you. I want you to have a great evening. You too. It's been a pleasure. And remember, the line's open. Give me a call. I'd love to talk to you again. My name is Yasmin. Have a blessed evening. You as well, sis. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. (laughs) Bye-bye. That's a good call, man. Shout out to Yasmin, man. Y'all give Yasmin a round of applause, man. Y'all give Yasmin a round of applause. It, it, like, bro, y'all ain't got nothing to be scared of, bro. (laughs) Y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all ain't got nothing to be scared of, man. This is just talking. Pay the bills. Hey, my boy BZ. You know what I'm saying? His mama named him Baby Zaddy. I'm going to call him Baby Zaddy. What's up with you, boy? 
Hold on, right? I got a question. I'm going to knock this out. Consuelo, I believe I talked to you before, Consuelo. Happy Friday. Uh, Ricky, for clarity, are you saying the maximum amount of time it should take a man to decide if you want to marry you is a year? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if a man wants to marry you, he's going to marry you. What I'm saying is as ladies, right? If a man is not like, and this is what I mean, you should be dating intently. Why are you dating just to be with somebody? You should be dating to be married. Uh, that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. That's the game, right? A lot of people out here dating just to be with somebody, right? And I'm not saying a year, I'm not saying a year. What I'm saying is that a man that wants to marry you will marry. If you presented enough value to that man, he's going to want to marry you. And that's what, look, it's just weird. It's it's funny how things always come full circle here. Ricky, for clarity, are you saying the maximum amount of time it should take a man to decide if he wants to marry you is a year? I'm about to I'm about to bury y'all with this. Did you hear what I said? Y'all cannot disprove my theory because it's a hundred percent correct. Let's peep the scenario. The caller we just had, she was messing. She's with dude for a year, right? She's with dude for a year. And what do I say to y'all? What did I say on this very live? Be right, do right, because that way you know you're giving 100% of what you have to offer. You're presenting yourself as yourself, not a representative, not a facsimile, not a fractional piece of yourself. Not, oh, I'm with you and I'm going to give you 50% now and then 50% when you put a ring on my finger. No, I, this is what I am. This is who I am. Right? That man that's with you, if you're giving him everything you've got. And this this applies to both parties, y'all. I say man be, the, I say I speak for what I see from women because I'm a man. I'm telling y'all what I expect from a woman, right? So if you're giving me everything you got, you're into me 100%. You're bringing value to my life. If I'm a man of character, if I'm a man of substance, my job, the first thing that will pop into my head once I see and realize you're the woman that I need and that I should be with, not just need, but want. You're the woman that's giving me everything. You're different than the rest of these 75, 78, 35, 15, 48% chicks that's out here in these streets. I'm going to lock you up. I'm going to take you off the market. Right? If I don't, what you're presenting as a whole doesn't bring me value. It's not saying you're not giving 100%, but the man that you're with, the man that you're wanting to marry you is saying you're not valuable enough for me to marry. At that point, you should know the decision you have to make. If it's a man out here working every week, putting you in a house, providing for you, taking care of you as you are a woman, as he is a man. And if I got down on one knee, if I'm giving you 100% of me, and I got down on one knee and said, would you marry? And you said no. I have one or two choices. I ride out, I stay there, and hopefully believe that I, one day you will say yes, or I leave you be. Now, no one knows what may happen. We've got examples. Trill AC, that boy on uh, on cruise season, a perfect example, right? Maybe, just maybe. Hey, baby. Speaking of. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Appreciate you. 
I appreciate you. Right? Maybe, maybe the, the, the stars will align, right? Maybe we'll make it back to each other. If we really wanted each other, that'd happen, right? Because things happen. Ricky Fame, exactly. See, but this is what I tell y'all. And, and, hey, on a coaching call, this is what I'm saying, Ricky Fame, right? And like I told the young lady, right? Be his friend. Be her friend. But you still out here moving and shaking. Time waits for no man or woman. Right? But you 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 can't lie about what you what you went to. You can't lie about what it is. Right? That's the long game. That's the long game. I'm talking about we right here and now. Right? So again, if you're giving 100% of what you are, Clement Gray, appreciate you, God. Welcome to the green gang, my boy. Right? Hey, S. Love, they got a, uh, go to beatbox.com. They got a, a store locator. Um. I lost my train of thought, right? But again, if that person finds value in you and there's nothing standing in the way, they're going to marry you. And stop, let's stop acting like Trill is a common case scenario. It does happen, but we know that's a rarity. We know that's a one-off. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a one-off. I was trying to think of another word. It's a one-off. And again, I look at it, I look at it like this. Trio knew. Trio knew. Hey, shout out, shout out to shout out to whoever bought that up. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. What word did I use? Trill saw the value in his wife. Did you hear what I said? Trill saw the value in that woman. She permitted, she, she showed so much value. Y'all can't beat me on this one. I got to take the stands. This is the stands that need to get taken. Y'all can't do, y'all can't beat this one. He saw the value. She presented so much value. He was like, yeah. The man that want to marry you going to marry you. The man that wants to marry you is going to marry you. Yeah. See, but the thing is, a lot of y'all thinking y'all presenting value and you don't. Damn. A lot of y'all think y'all are value and you're not. Yeah. All these suitors and no buyers. Yeah. All the boxes is checked, but nobody asking. Yeah. 
When they say I choose to be single, they exactly right. When they say I choose to be single, they're exactly right. Miss Miss Murray, I'm calling you. Hello? Hey, how you doing, Texas? I'm good. How are you? I'm blessed every day. Happy Friday to you. Yes, thank you. I'm so glad for this new time. All um, right. I'm happy to help. How can I assist? To finally catch it. Um, so I'm a little upset. Just got into it with my spouse. Mm. Um, so I'm trying not to uh, be dramatic right now, but um, we've been married 14 years, and mm -hmm. I guess about 13. Um, and he, I was talking about something, and he just let me know that he was potting a lot of our stuff. Now, this is behavior that he's always done so it shouldn't be anything new but it was just like wow mm -hmm. i thought you know we're over this you know and it's not just that it's like you know i told him you're so sneaky and it's thieving behavior he on crack heroin mm -hmm. pcp no 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 just broke nigga itis like he takes he, anything i have if i put he, he i hide nigga. money he yo broke nigga. I know, I know. And that's why I just don't know where to go with it because, you know, I even bought these little fake cans and fake books for my kids so that when I give them allowance, you know, we could put it in there and kind of hide it. And once he gets whiff of it, you know, he takes it. Hmm. So why, you, mean, why, why are you with him? We're married. I just, I don't why even know, like, I don't even know what to do with it. We have kids. I don't know what to do with it. I still I, have I, kids. Yeah. And I mean, the kids are just so healthy, so happy. And I'm just like, I don't want to repeat what my mom did. And so I'm trying every year. I'm trying. I mean, and it's been so much more stuff than that. I mean, the big stuff I've ignored. But I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Am I like, am I tripping right now? No. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, from wrecking cars. I, I'm paying $800 car insurance every month. Mm -hmm. That's because of the stuff he does. Yep. I've never had a car accident. I mean, you just, I don't know. I don't know. What, 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 what is he providing for you that you stay? Not a thing. That dick must be good, huh? Thing. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, it is. No. How many kids y'all got? We have three. Yeah, it's good. No, it's not. No, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't sit here and lie. I wouldn't sit here and lie. I, I thought it was more of like this Christian bond that we had, and he's just. Oh, y'all in the church? Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, and it's just, it's just not. And he goes faithfully, and I stop. He he go faithfully, but he's stealing from from it from the family, right? Right. Right. The decision is easy. You just don't want to make it. Right. I'm not. I, mean, I, I believe in marriage wholeheartedly. Yeah. You you should work through the kinks, bro. I believe in. Right. But it's certain. Look, I'm going to tell you what. You know what my, grand, my, my wife granddaddy told me? What? Men fuck up all the time. We do. Okay. Right. Right. But you got to give your woman something to forgive you for. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Is he giving you anything to forgive him for? Absolutely nothing. Then His bare minimum is just breathing. Then why, why are you talking to me? I just, I'm just trying not to be a statistic. You know, all this old single parent households and all this horrible stuff. And so I'm like, okay. All right. I can just, you know, my my youngest, you know, I got 12 years on this. And if I can just smile, grin, bear, and just deal, I can get them out the house. He's providing something for you to stay. What is it? It's, it's a father for my kids. It truly is just that. He is not, 
He doesn't provide conversation. He doesn't provide what we had that I thought was there was that Christian connection. We kind of grew up in the church together. I thought it was going to be this great love. It has been a nightmare. And I'm just trying everything. They say you try everything before you just walk away. This is... Look, I'm just telling you, is he giving me, I, I'm not going to say nothing else, but is he giving you something that only, you know, you can lie to me all day. Is he giving you something to forgive him for? No. I mean, the truth, no. of, the truth of the matter is you, the husband. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he looked to me for answers. Like, oh, do you think I should do this? And I'm like, Question. I mean, that's a major thing. And 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 I want to say this. Uh, look, just like it's a st- statistics for divorce, it's statistics for people in unhappy and un uh unproductive relationships. Pick your poison. <laughs> I just I feel so bad for the kids. Though. Okay. Does he work? I mean, does he does he put into that? What is he, he doing? He, what is does he do? Anything? He works. Okay. He just he does work. Um, he's gotten more consistent with working, and all that I ask is like, please take care of yourself. Mm. That is all I ask. Like, right, please but stop. He he taking you know. care of himself great because he works for him and you work for him, right? Right. Right. I don't do, I don't sis I don't do one way relationships married d- divorce I don't care I don't do one way relationships I don't approve of them and I'm not gonna say oh for the love of God you can stick it out he you he got to give you something to forgive him for and if I, I'm be honest with you I'm telling you from the understanding you're giving me I'm hearing one side of the story right we cannot, I cannot give you righteous information until we get to a basis of truth. If you're telling me, you're telling me the truth, and this is what it is, you got a decision to make. It's not difficult. The, you making a choice is difficult. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just it's saying. Just, and you know, I, what I think the problem is, I'm trying to cry, but I think the issue is, is just, I, I mostly do everything right. If I hit a, if I set a goal, I, I get it. Mm-hmm. If I say I'm going to do something, I do it. So getting married and, and having to say this, this isn't going to work for me. Like, this is so embarrassing. Your marriage is not a gold star on a board, sis. Yeah. It doesn't <sighs> matter what it looks like to any fucking body else. The only thing that matters is what it looks like to you. And what does it look like to you? He just takes advantage. He just, it's just so fun. It's just so embarrassing. Like, of all people, I settle for the freaking one. And I mean, <laughs> you normally can see these kind of people a mile away. You're not, hey, you you not you not alone in these struggles, sis. He gotta give you, he gotta give you something, and if he giving you nothing, I'm the first to say leave. If I wasn't giving my wife what she need, I'd be the first one to say leave. And you know, my family is always said like, "Oh my gosh, what are you doing?" But I just like I just made that wrong decision, and I'm like, you know what? I can turn this. I can turn this right. I can make this. I can make this work. You can't make that man do nothing he don't want to do. Y'all been together for 11 years. All you can do is be right. And again, as I said, if you are being right, if you are being right since, if you know you putting 100% into this thing and doing what you need to do as a wife and a mother, and he's not doing or reciprocating that as your man and your husband, you have a decision to make. Yeah. Okay. I just needed to hear it from somebody married and not because, you know, sometimes you think, am I crazy? You're like, no, 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 no. Until you hear it from hey, outside, you know. You got to be, you got to be willing to lose the win, sis. Oh, my gosh. 
You got to be willing to lose to win. If you love something, let it the fuck go. People don't understand that. You got to be willing to let that person go if they're not, if they, no matter what nobody says, no matter how they try to look at it, you got a bargain to keep up. And if he's not holding up his part of the bargain and you are, ain't shit to talk about. Okay. It's okay. not. That's for fellas and okay. that's for fellas and ladies. Ain't shit to talk about. I, I hear you, and I'll just start figuring things out from there. Pray on it. Just, okay. I'm serious. Pray on it. I ain't got no reason to lie to you. You're right. I'm just if it were somebody else, I'd be like, oh my god, you stupid. Yes. But, yeah, and I'm I'm reading somebody <laughs> in the chat. They say your children. If he's a father and he's a good father, he should continue to be a good father. This is right. th this is this is hey, look, this is life. This this your life. This ain't no game. This ain't no fucking talk show. This your life. Do you you shouldn't be in a relationship where you're not being reciprocated. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, kids or no. A man gonna take care of his kids yeah. fucking regardless. Just like uh a husband and a man, even with his fuck ups, gonna take care of home fucking regardless. He got to give you something to forgive him for. If he's not doing that, you got a choice to make. And that's your choice to make. Fuck what everybody else talking about. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. If you need, if you need, you got my number. Thank and if you need somebody to talk to, you got my number. Thank you so you're, much. You're welcome. And good luck, right. sis. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Does this make sense now? Funny how everything I tell y'all come back, right? I'm going to give me my props because won't nobody else do it. Let's see what the chat's saying, man. Uh, again, shout out to my boy, Clement Gray. Appreciate you, man. Green Gang in the building, man. Make sure y'all click the, the like button, subscribe to the channel. Again, if that subscribe button on your screen or phone is red, me and you got a problem, Joe. Click that subscribe button, man. Tap in, man. Y'all see us survive over here. Glue guy, what's good with you, bro? Did you hear what I said? You got another call, a 601. We coming through. Good evening. Uh, hey, Rick. Who this is? This is Kevin. Who? Kevin Dexter. I'm, I'm calling from the show. Oh, what's up, man? You still live? Yeah, I'm still live, bro. You, you were supposed to be a girl, though. Ah, damn. Today, is, right. today is ladies' night, bro. All right, when can I call back in? I, I watch uh, King Talk and the Peace Network. But, Forget it, bro. Uh, Let's go. What you got? Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Man, um, I'm 28. I'm from Mississippi. I'm the, married. Been the, married for three the years. Sip. No. <laughs> yeah. What you got, bro? Uh, man, every time life starts to get a little bit better, my wife go in like, Damn near a list of like, hey, this is shit you ain't been doing. I want you to do, and I feel bad because you ain't been doing it. I'm like, but we've been struggling together. Like, how can you ignore this whole other half? We've been working towards the shit. The gravy train just starting to roll. Mm -hmm. Like, we just closed the door on this motherfucker. And as soon as I turn around, you hand me a list of shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So like, what what am I supposed to do? Because I know most of it, most of that shit is like just manipulation 
But at the same time, I don't want to disregard everything that you said. So okay. I try to do what I can. But at the same time, I don't just kneel down and, and give in to. Okay. It'd be frustrating, dog. Like, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's like, I ain't got nowhere to turn to. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I do everything I'm supposed to, it's not enough. If I fall back and do only what I need, I'm definitely. Okay. You know, hold up. Stop, up. stop, stop, stop. Let's go back. Let's go back. You, you said you're doing everything you're supposed to, right? Everything I feel I'm supposed to. No, nope. right. I'm not. Right. I'm not talking about feelings, right? What What is your job uh, as a man to your wife? Uh, protect, provide, lead. Are you doing that? When I was doing it, there are there has been gaps. When I was doing, we it, we ain't talking. Was, what the, we 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 don't live backwards, right? We don't live backwards. I'm talking about today. All right, right today at this moment, are you doing uh -huh. everything you need to do as a man for your family and your house? Not today, no. Okay, so this is how simple this is, bro. If she's telling you things, that's your wife, correct? This is your wife, correct? It's not your girlfriend. It's your wife, right? Right. 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 Her job is to watch your six. Right? So only you know, my guy, if the shit she's telling you is legit. Is it legit? Yes. Make the appropriate changes. And I'm 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 not disagreeing with that at all. Right. But, okay. So what's 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 part two of it then? All right. Now after that happens and she does not get in her way, because she is a daddy girl, and like I said, you, we don't live in the past, but it, it's on the place I could draw from. In the past, when I have done every, I'm paying all the bills. I'm coming home from work. Just paying her food. I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, and I'm doing oh, everything. See, that's that's where you I'm fucked up. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. That was uh, that was two years ago. That that, mm -hmm. that ain't happened. And but like I said, you know, uh, when I was doing above and beyond, I was still getting the. I, I still, I mean, I was still getting the. I feel like you don't do this, or I feel like you make me feel this. Those bullshit conversations. Okay. You know. Okay. So when I am on my job, go ahead, bro. I didn't mean to cut you. I mean that, that's pretty much it. When I'm when I'm on my shit, like I know I'm doing my very best and I'm getting shit done. Like no questions asked, and I'm still getting these statements. Like, what <laughs> what am I supposed to do and and still be right about it? Because oh man, it ain't man, about it ain't about being right, bro. It ain't about being right. It's about being being the man you are. Okay, let's 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 discuss this, right? And I and I'll relate. I relate, right. bro. I relate. Listen to what I'm saying. I don't tell you that I went through, right? I hear exactly what okay. you're saying, my guy. You got to be the man you are. Peep game. Today is today, right? So all that shit y'all went through in the past. You you slacking off. Her not appreciating you for the man you was when you was on point. Dead that shit. Dead that shit tonight, dog. Dead it. Bury it. Go out in the backyard, six feet, dig you a hole six feet and bury that shit. This is what you do. Don't nobody want to listen to me, but listen, bro. I need you to listen. Did you hear what I said? This is what you do today. You go to your girl and say, you know what? I heard what you said and you was right. Listen, you was right. From this day forward, I'm going to do everything I need to do as a man. If you got to listen. If you got to sacrifice you to do it, do it. Do it. Yeah. Right? Do it. Don't complain. Don't cry. Don't bitch. Do it. Then when she opened her mouth to say some garbage shit, you dump her. Uh -huh. 
All right, cool. Right? Because right. y'all, they can't, hey, I'm going to look at the camera right now, God. They can't beat me, bro. Look, if you doing, the, the reason why you give her grace, listen to what I'm saying, bro. The reason why you give us her grace, because in those times where you were weak and not being a man you were, you know in your heart, you'd be like, man, you know what? It was that one time I was fucking off, right? Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my wife, man. I owe her them times, bro. Like, for real, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I, wasn't, I wasn't what I was supposed to be. I made them promises and shit when I get married. I told her I was going to give her the world, take her everywhere, rah, 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 right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. See? But, right. but let's be honest. The world is out here and life happens, bro. Everything we wish to get, we don't get. Everything we wish to make happen, we don't make happen. But you got to put in 100% of what the fuck you are into your relationship, bro. So that way, when she come with you as some bullshit, the only question you have is what the fuck is you want? I'm not liable. I'm giving you everything I got. Right. I'm giving you everything I got. And if, if, if it ain't enough, guess what? What is there to talk about? Let's stop bullshitting and wasting each other time. Because at that point, if you put up the shit that she's supposedly putting in you as a man that she's expect, you you your own man, bro. Right? You're her man, but you're your own man. Right? And the man right. you are, you can't be no more the man you are than you will be, bro. You give her 100%, it alleviates you from all liability. If I'm not enough, why the fuck are you here? You hear what I said? If I'm not enough, why the fuck are you here? Got a way of making shit pretty clear, dog. Like, uh, I appreciate your experience and your perspective. Like, it's easy, my you guy. Know, it's it's easy. easy. But just how you saying it is like, what the fuck are we even talking about? Like, it is. I got a job, you got a job. But like I said, the re the what's going on right now, bro, is that people don't want to do their jobs. Right? Everybody want to flip jobs. Nah, bro. I make the burgers, you work the fries. <laughs> yeah. Right? Stop playing with your right. woman, man. Stop giving her a fucking out. Men don't understand that shit. We be giving them outs, bro, because we not the man we supposed to be. That gives her a reason to complain and attack you in those. They always look for chinks in your armor, dog. The best woman to the worst, that, that's just what they are. It's not no disrespect, bro. It's not no disrespect. It's just what it is. Right. I'm giving you everything. And if I'm not enough, that's cool. I'm enough for somebody. It's just not you. Thank you for the experience. I love you. If you ever need me, I'm here. We friends. We cool. Everybody ain't going to make it, dog. Uh-huh. Everybody not. You know, I, I even told her that before myself. Like, if the shit don't work, it just don't work. But I'd rather, I'd rather know early on. Than, and how long y'all been married, bro? <clears throat> Next month will be three years. How old are you got? 28. Still got time, my boy. You got time to, yeah. to build this into a great relationship, bro. But you got time to start over too. Is it? But if you love, if you love your wife, man, you love your wife and you know you love her, bro, and you know you're not you not where you need to be, bro. Work on yourself, man. Work on yourself. That'll emanate out into the relationship, bro. You see what I'm saying? And if she don't see it, bro, she not for you. She not for you, bro. A good woman's going to do what she's supposed to do to let her man know, bro, you ain't on point. She's supposed to. Right? But it's your job to do your job. Otherwise, why is she with you? Right? If she's not there to watch you, watch your six and point out your liabilities, bro, why is she there? That means she just dare to suck off your resources and be with you until the next great thing come along. 
looking to double, you know, looking to better deal you and shit. And you know the shit she gonna say when that dude pull up, my husband don't do this, he ain't do that. Get that dude that she like the information and the shit she need to, to move past you. Free game Fridays. And I appreciate you taking the time and responding to me, especially, especially on the day. It's all in love, God, man. I wish you well, man. Just do what you're supposed to do as a man. It'll give you all the answers you need, dog. Sometimes the answers are difficult, but it'll give you the answer. Right. Anything God else, bro? Bless you, man. Nah, that's it. All right, be easy, man. Appreciate it. You're welcome, bro. Peace. Peace. What's up, chat? What's up, chat? Anybody else? Tell me where's the lies at, y'all. Tell me where the cap at. Oh, Ricky this, Ricky that. Tell me where the cap at, y'all. Where my other hat at, man? Where my, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me put my let me put the other cap on. Hold on, y'all. Where my other hat at, man? This this hat this hat don't do justice today, y'all. Hold on. My boy in his bag today. Fuck you mean. He in his bag today. Let's get it. That hat don't do me justice today. There it is. Look. Let's put the right cap on today. I'm like that boy Floyd. Y'all can't beat me. I don't care who you lost. I don't care who you beat. I don't care who you lost to. What's happening? <laughs> I don't care who you beat. I don't care who you lost to. <laughs> Let's put the right cap on, people. I don't care who you beat. I don't care who you lost to. <laughs> Shout out to the chat, the best chat on the planet, on the best network on the planet, the LaPeep Network. Let's go. <laughs> man, I want to thank y'all so much for y'all time today, man. This shit is live as fuck, bro. Uh, what they talking about, man? My man Thompson, Tom, Thomas Thompson. How that happened, bro? Shout out to your moms and your pops, man. Uh, for the real conversation. My boy, Renee, Renee, Miss Renee in the building. Mr. Ricky, great show advice. I'm just telling y'all what I know, man. Right? Like I'm trying to tell y'all, man, I wasn't the greatest dude all, man. My wife had to coach me on some shit, bro. Right? But I am the man I am. I always gave my wife something to forgive me for, dog. My Her granddaddy told me that. Her granddaddy told me that. You know what I'm saying? Her granddaddy told me that, bro. And then when I sat down and I assessed, right? Hey, man, just be right, bro, and see where it take you. Right? Because we all got shit we deal with, man. We program, bro. We got to break that programming. Shit your parents put on you. Shit your, your past lovers put on. Shit you put on yourself, man. You got to let that shit go, dog. Kill that ego. That ego is the death of us, man. That ego is the death for us, man. That person you with today ain't got shit to do with what you went through. The shit y'all put through, the shit, the only thing y'all got responsibility for is the shit y'all put each other through, bro. That shit back there ain't got nothing to do with y'all. That shit ain't got nothing to do with y'all, bro. Y'all here today. What y'all gonna do today to make this work? Y'all don't hear me, bruh. Y'all don't hear me, bruh. Blackjack in the building. Five bones, man. I appreciate you. I tried to donate to the funds. Or, hey, I appreciate the ties, bro. And I got my boy D. Will in the building. Chat ninjas a symbol. <laughs> What's up with you, Dub? All right. Man. It's been a great show, man. Hey, y'all got a couple more minutes, man. If y'all want to call in, come on through. Y'all see the number work, man. 
church, the, the, the doors to the church is open. Oh, and but to talk to uh, Chris Wigno, I see you, my guy. Hey, Miss Parker. All right. Uh, the talk on that that uh, the law being passed with the eyeballs and stuff. Excuse me, man. Make sure y'all try that beatbox. Right. Um, the one part I and it, again I I think different, y'all. So I apologize. You know what I'm saying. Um, they say you have to be eligible for pro, for probation, right? To be able to to qualify for the I-bond stuff, right? So, how do you know I'm guilty if I'm eligible for, for probation? Right? What What are you talking about? I'm the only way I can get probation is if I've been guilty of a crime. Correct? See, y'all got to understand that 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 legalese is devil speak, right? It's a two it's a two fork tongue. You have to qualify for probation to be for this to apply to you. So I'm already guilty, is what y'all telling me. So what y'all doing is letting me out until y'all sentence me. No, blackjack. The charges, the the charges. They they printed the charges. Blackjack. They they let you know what the charges are. No, they're saying that you're guilty. You have. They have to be exactly. Chris, we know. I mean, everybody guilty before we innocent. But people, you know, they. Eh, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand that, right? Right. So they making you think that you know I'm innocent before I'm guilty, but you're really guilty because for this to even apply to you. You have to be able to qualify to being guilty. That legalese a bitch, boy. But that that's neither here nor there. I'm waiting for this to pop up. Hey, scrap, what's good, my boy? He said it's called probation before judgment. How can you how can you probate me before I went to court? you hear what I said? Court is probate. Court is probate. That's why they call it probation. This is what they do. <laughs> this is what they do. Right? Hey, as love said, they so ass backwards, right? The same way you can be the father before a DNA test, right? The same way you can get Charles child support and they don't know who the baby is, who the baby daddy is. That's all they doing to you. That's all they doing to you. See, uh, to talk about, to talk about the legal system, right? Y'all got to understand it's a different, it's a difference between legal and lawful, right? It's a difference between legal and lawful. A lot of this shit that's legal is not lawful, right? But the thing is, what people don't understand is we volunteer, we volunteer for that shit. New slaves. Natasha, let's go. <laughs> they do it and they tell us every day, bro. Nobody don't believe them. They don't believe them. That's neither here nor there. Hey, no. Hey, Lynn, hey who said that? Black Jack. No, Black Jack, no, no. Our court, our courts don't, they don't, they don't operate the way y'all think they operate. Our courts operates on assumptions, right? That's why when y'all don't answer, shit automatically happens, right? So Lace said, 
Now, why y'all? Hey, hold on, hold on, man. I need y'all to listen. Did you hear what I said? Blackjack. Why is it that, let's say, let's say in a child support case, right? Why is it that if you don't go to court, you automatically put on child support? Anybody? You volunteer, Leandra. What's up, chat? Crick is like a bitch. Hold on. I just told, listen to what I'm saying, right? Words mean something. Words mean something, right? So if the court operates under assumption, thank you, Sean K. Sean K, let's go. Demetri is bright. Let's go, E. You gave the real. I've been through it, and you told him step by step what to do. I have no reason to lie to y'all. In this country, you're guilty until proven innocent. If that was the case, why do you go and sit in jail until your court date? Blackjack, you always answer the summons. Why do you think they call it a summons? How you going to summons a live person? You summons the dead, though. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> This conversation too deep for y'all. How you summons a live person? Let's look up the word summons. Hold on. Let's look up the word summons. See, this is why this is why legalese is so fucked up, right? This is why legalese is so fucked up. This is why there's two. This is why they have so many different definitions for words in the English English language. They'll sit up there and they'll substitute a legal definition for the for the standard common definition and vice versa. Damn, I wish I had a, a, a physical dictionary here. Where is it? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Bear with me. I apologize. Uh, screenshot. Share the screen. An authoritative command, message, or signal by which one is summoned. A request 
demand, or a call to do something, a summons to surrender. See, hold on, hold on, hold on, go back, go back. Again, another definition for a word, for one word. A call or citation by authority to appear before a court or judicial officer be the writ by which the call is made. An authoritative call of notice to appear at a specific place, ask for a particular purpose or duty, a call issue for the meeting of an assembly or parliament to serve with a summons. Summon. Look. Right. They don't want to use the old versions. Right. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Right. From the from what the word originally uh, came from to authorize or order a gathering of call together by authority, ask for deliberation or action to call into action. Hold on. Hold on. as used like in a summoning of demons. How to summon spirits, to summon the dead, trying to summon my dead grandpa, how to summon the dead in three simple steps. Right. So when a person that's dead doesn't own this, doesn't answer the summons, it's safe to assume. Correct. I'm going to give y'all this. I'm going to give y'all this. Then we're going to shut this down. Right. How do they write y'all name on everything? When y'all was in school, I'm 50 years old. I'm going to put it in the chat. Right. Look in the chat. How do they tell you to write your name in school? Right. Y'all see that? Y'all see? Remember how they taught you how you write capital R, little I, little C, little K, little Y, space, capital W, little I, little L, little L, little I, little A, little M, little S, right? Whenever somebody sends you something in the mail, right? How do they, how do your name look? Or any contract, any paperwork? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Give y'all something to think about before this night is over. Hold on. Let me see if I could uh, save this real quick. Yep. Watch this on my usher. Hold on. Uh, it's not going to let me do that. Hold on. Let me just share the screen there. Look at this. Look at the tombstone. Can y'all see that? I don't know if it's the screen cap is not working. Hold on, y'all. It's not working, not working, not working. Let 
There it is. There it is. Sorry, guys. I'm slipping. All y'all is dead. <laughs> we all dead. <laughs> we all dead. But that's a different live. That's a different live. Shout out to y'all, man. Let's get on out of here, man. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. But hey, man, like I said, bro. <laughs> like I said, bro. <laughs> Dead man walking about face. <laughs> Dead man walking. <laughs> Yo, shout out, man. Shout out to JR, man. Shout out to the LaPeep Network. If you haven't already, man, subscribe to the channel, man. Click the like button if you haven't, man. Share, like, and subscribe to the content, man. To the people, the ladies that called in, and the, uh, my guy, man, again, thank y'all so much. And gig and chat, without y'all, there wouldn't be no me, man. I appreciate y'all making this show lit. To the greatest network on YouTube and the planet, man. As usual, y'all know what it is. Take care of y'all self first, because without you, this universe would not exist. I'm trying to tell y'all, if you weren't here to see it, it would not be here. With that being said, after you do that, take care of your family, because who's going to help you eat to jello when you're older and you know what i like jello man especially the red and green jello that's my that's my issue you know what i'm saying and with that being said man if y'all do that everything else would take care of itself y'all know who i is allow me to reintroduce myself my name is and we out the sheet critique should be starting soon man make sure y'all slide over there let them know rick sent you Give them a thumbs up, man, and a clap in the chat. Green Gang, stand up. It's your boy, and we gone.
Thank you.